Hi folks, Wingman checking in. Today we're at the Veterans Center and Memorial Museum at Balboa Park here in San Diego. Uh, they have a Korean War veteran memorial going on. Uh, I'm going to try to go in and do some filming and try to share that with you today. So come along and let's check out the Veterans Museum here at Balboa Park. Well, I'm inside the museum and I'm checking out the exhibits on the Korean War Memorial. It shows both the UN soldiers and the American soldiers and the North Koreans in like a diorama on how their basic daily life was uh, fighting the Korean War. So hopefully I'll be able to convey this and share this with you. You got your basic shaving kit. You have a medical kit. Here's some dog tags, service medals, and a uh, topo map. Here it shows a basic mess kit with sea rats down there. Your first aid kit, your comms. Just showed like basic comms. The newspaper showing the truce from the San Francisco Chronicle. For some new folks back in the day, here's was the soldier's guide. They also have a lot of great historical photos and paintings and uh, exhibits here and I'll show you that as well. Here's a piece of wreckage from the USS Arizona and it was given to that gentleman who was a Pearl Harbor survivor and he donated it to the museum. A little signal card. There's a guy's mess kit and on the back it looks like he etched everywhere that he served. Some early dog tags. There's an honorable discharge with a dog tag. Check this out, an early gas mask. For all us aviation ordnance men, here's John Finn. Congressional Medal of Honor winner, Pearl Harbor survivor. He lived here in San Diego. A lot of early aircraft helmets. There's a probably one of the first survival knives made for flight crew and pilots. In this room, it's dedicated to uh, prisoners of war and folks that are MIA and I'll show you around here. And this wall is dedicated to folks that were prisoners of war. from the Robert Knoll collection. His field cap, his New Testament sketchbook, his dog tags.
This room that I'm about to enter is dedicated to the women that have served in the armed forces. Some uniform buttons, their dog tags. All the different uniforms over the years that have been worn. Here's a flag from 1942, Baguio, Philippines. I want to take this moment to pay my respects to a dear friend of mine that had passed on. He was a Bataan Death March survivor, Charlie Johnson. Charlie, if you're looking down, this one's for you, buddy. God bless you in your service. He had been a prisoner of war for almost four years. So back in the day, originally, this was a chapel for the Balboa Naval Hospital. And through the years, it had been converted into the uh, Veterans Memorial Museum. So this is to honor all the men and women that have served in the Coast Guard. The Waves Handbook. UH-1, Huey. Well, I must say, if you're in San Diego, you have to come down and visit the uh, Veterans Museum and Memorial here in uh, Balboa Park. It's uh, a pretty awesome experience. The uh, Korean War Memorial display was really awesome. I hope I was able to convey uh, some of the sights and the sounds of inside there to you. Thanks for coming along, folks. Until the next one, take care. God bless America, and God bless all you veterans in active duty that serve to keep us safe today. Take care.